So for packing up a bulk box, you're gonna start here with a priority flat rate, or a large flat rate box. Um, and we're gonna pack this to the brim with bulk. What you'll need to start with is some bubble wrap. Put one layer in like this, flaps out so that it can be folded across the top, and another layer this way. That way it's protected on uh, all sides with just a little bit of cushion. Then you take your cards. This is all bulk, magic bulk that I'm selling to a friend of the channel, Jesse. So Jesse, this is your order I'm packing up for you. And you're going to put in three ropes sideways like this. This process has gone through two or three different iterations. Um, I have to shout out uh, Max and Kevin with Card Vault uh, for coming up with this particular version uh, for all the flesh and blood boxes they've shipped to me. It seems like the best. Least amount of damage to the cards, least amount of damage to the boxes. So once you finish that first row, it's in there good and tight. You're going to start another row right next to it. Don't have to have padding between them because these cards are going to be packed in tight enough they won't move, which is the point. Then we'll start our third row. Now, of course, you can take bulk and pack it up, you know, in 100 card bricks, in sandwich bags, or paper, or team bags, or whatnot. But if you have a significant amount of bulk that's all the same type of stuff, that is, uh, I understand, that can be time consuming and, you know, it's an added expense. So this is the best way to pack up these boxes if you have a significant amount of bulk. And I'm talking thousands of cards. Okay, so we've got that three rows in there, but you can see there's an extra gap here. So what we're gonna do is we'll take our team bags, or I use graded card sleeves. And we'll take a stack, roughly just under 100 or so. I don't count it out specific. I just get it to where it looks like it'll be about to fill the space. Drop it in the bag. Close it up. And that slots right in there. And I'll do three of those. One, two, three. Okay, so now we've got those three in there. It's just a tiny little bit of space here. We'll fill that in with some extra bubble wrap when we finish up the second layer. Because we're going to do another layer right on top of that. Just like that. Okay. Now we got to fill in the gap again. Extra little bit of bubble wrap for that one little corner. I, I have seen people use like empty uh, booster wrappers and stuff like that but I've got bubble wrap here on hand we'll just shove that down in there make it nice and packed in so this isn't gonna move around and we'll fold that stuff over protected on top some people say you have to use duct tape I haven't found that I need to use duct tape shipping tape seems to work pretty good but you have to be very liberal with it and 
tape the heck out of it. So I'll show you how I tape up these boxes. First, one across the top to close it. A second one across the top at a slight angle because the shear from it being a little bit angled makes that bond stronger. Then we're gonna go across the open edges here. Fold it down, fold it, fold it in, and then fold it down on this side. Same thing for this edge. Place it across the top, fold it down, fold it in, and then fold it down this way. Make sure the bottom edges have the same treatment. And then, the secret sauce. to make sure all these four corners also get the same treatment. For one, it locks in the ones you did across the, the edges. Across the edges. It locks those in. It covers them up with another layer of tape there. And also, these seams tend to bust even on the edges that were not open, like this one. Once you uh, seal off all these edges, these corners become the weak point. Now they are also protected. And that is how we pack up a bulk box. These cards aren't moving. They're not going to get hurt. It's about 25 pounds, so well under the limit for the priority flat rate large boxes. And uh, I'll just slap a label on that and take it to the post office later.